Hair Bear, Terry Miller, the disc golf guy. When did when did the disc golf guy moniker start? Uh, 2010, beginning of 2010. Read a book about social media and how powerful YouTube and other social media can be, and instantly started the name. Did you come up with that, or did, some, did people start calling you the disc golf guy? And you're like, well, that's what I am, I guess. Yeah, a lot of people when I would go to do clinics or demonstrations or I would teach classes, people just kind of generically would throw out, oh yeah, the disc golf guy is here. And uh, from there, I just kind of rolled with it and decided, yeah, that's who I am. I'll roll with that. Where, when did you get, when did you first interact with disc golf? And when did you realize, when did, what's the timeline from first interacting with disc golf to this is my life now? I, I got introduced to it when I was about 12 or 13 at a church camp. I was playing with regular Frisbees into little red grocery baskets. And then from there, I went and bought my first disc a few days later and then was hooked on it from that point forward. And probably by the time I was 15 or 16, I was playing my first amateur world championships and uh, I was totally hooked on it. A few years later, it became my entire life right after college. So that's really interesting because it's not that long ago. I don't know that how, how many people know this. You were in a, like a very, very good player, like not, not run of the mill pro. You're out there competing with Feldberg and Avery Jenkins. All these players. I've heard Feldberg bring your name up as a guy that like he was looking out for at competition. What made you kind of say to yourself, I love competing, but I actually love doing this media thing more? Yeah, it was probably around 2010 when I f saw social media and just realized that I could be so much more impactful by being good at doing interviews in social media as opposed to wanting to put in the time and the effort to continue to play at a professional level. I felt like I was good, thankfully, just kind of naturally, but I wasn't great and I didn't want to do anything that would get me to that next level. I didn't want to put in, I enjoyed playing, but I definitely didn't want to put in the work that was going to be required to be great at it. Uh -huh. And I think for a lot, of, a lot of people, your vlogs were like their first introduction to professional disc golf. And I know for me personally, it's like a historical archive of all these like incredible moments that only really you have. Um, what's that like? like what do you, What's like, from your perspective, how important is that for, for you to know that you have all that cool archival footage? Yeah, at the time, of course, I didn't think I was documenting history. I was early on in the process of actually having recorded footage. And it was just a matter of trying to actually gain cred for my channel. I was like, oh, if I go talk to these really good players, most of which are friends anyway, but if I talk to them, uh, more people will, will want to watch the videos I'm putting together and that just kind of evolved eventually from interviews into highlights and then from highlights into shot by shot production and uh, just having all that footage has been pretty incredible. Okay, cool. And last question for you, Terry, because we got the players in the incoming. Um, you're obviously, uh, you're, you're listed here as a celebrity, but we all know one of the best players out there. Uh, how confident are you? You're the betting odds favorite in Vegas. Is that, is that pressure or is that just like, yeah, yeah, I am the best one here. I, I should win. Like, no. Where are you on that right now? I certainly feel like there's a ton of pressure on me. I never play. I don't practice. I love the sport, but I never get out and, and throw anymore. So I don't consider myself the best player here. I know Ben is really good. Casey's really good. So believe it or not, there's actually a lot of pressure and uh, I'm a little bit nervous. Okay.